Hello, I'm Susan Vansickle, the director here at Christian Adoption Consultants. Today, I wanted to chat with you about nearly every hopeful adoptive parent's fear. It's one of the biggest fears of every adoptive couple I've met. That nagging thought that maybe you'll never be chosen by expectant parents. In the beginning, the adoption process is a lot of work. Stacks of paperwork and home visits and doctor's appointments for the home study keep a couple busy. And when that's finished, creating a profile and applying to agencies and grants keep you occupied. But then you wait. The home study is complete, the profile's printed, the grant money is waiting, and the nursery is empty. For a hopeful adoptive family, this process can be agonizing. And for a couple who've gone through the pain of infertility, it can feel eerily similar to waiting for a positive pregnancy test. It's easy to let doubts creep in, feel hope fade, and become discouraged. So how do you get through this time and push through the fear that you'll never be chosen? Here's a few tips to help you during the wait. First, don't believe the myth of a perfect family. It's easy to think if you haven't been chosen, there's something wrong with you. There's still age old ideas that every expectant parent is looking for a specific type of family, but it's simply not true. As unique as each birth mom is, her idea of the perfect family for her baby is just as unique. I don't believe in the idea of a perfect adoptive family, but I have seen over and over again, God make a match that's perfect for a birth and adoptive family. Second, it's really helpful to manage your expectations. Every adoptive family has a different story. When you know other stories, it's really easy to write yourself into them and assume yours might be similar. I've had families match the first time they presented and the 20th. There are couples who've needed to hop a flight within an hour of finding out they're becoming parents and others who've waited months or more. Each one looking back would say that it worked out perfectly in the end since their son or daughter came to them that way. But unlike pregnancy, adoption doesn't have a due date. You won't know how or when your story will unfold. Being able to be flexible and find peace and joy in the midst of the unknown will keep you sane. Another way to use your time in the wait is to take the opportunity to plan and to pray. Use this time of waiting for a little one to join your family to the fullest. Complete a house project, decorate a nursery, or go on vacation. I have a lot of families who choose to go on a baby moon and enjoy some of their last days baby free. This can also be an incredible opportunity to pray in a really unique way not just for your future baby and the birth family, but also for all of the expectant families you hear about. As you read different situations and expectant mother's stories, you have a chance to pray specifically for her and her baby like few others do in a really beautiful way. During the wait, you can also try something new and reroute. Thinking, rethinking your game plan might be a good idea. Are your preferences too narrow? Have you hired an adoption consultant to walk with you and expand your ability to apply to maybe more agencies and see more situations? Would it help to update your profile or have an adoption professional review it? Sometimes if you take a step back and reevaluate your plans, changing your path a bit might help jumpstart things. Also, remember to give yourself grace. Adoption is a unique experience to go through and it's important to give yourself space to experience all of the emotions that can come with it. Remember basic things like eating right and getting enough exercise that can do wonders for your stress levels. Find a solid support system and learn from other adoptive families who are a little farther along in the journey. And remember to extend extra grace to your spouse as well since the adoption process can be especially stressful on a marriage. Finally, and probably most importantly during the wait, it's important to trust God with the process. Ultimately, the same God that called you to this process will be faithful to you. Remember that often God is working even when we can't see it. Cling to God's truth and his promises and his ability to be enough for you. God truly does write the best stories and his plans are perfect. He is never slow in keeping his promises.